Bonjour and welcome to my channel. I have many RC cars, planes and drones and I need a way to test servo motors, so I came up with this idea. This is a servo controller based on Arduino. So let me show you briefly. I have a potential meter here, the servo motor. I have um, an amp meter right here, a rotary encoder to control the menu. And I have a small OLED display. Let me show you the electronic portion of that project. Here we are in Eagle. One of the most important thing that I wanted to do with this circuit is the ability to monitor the milliamps going to the servo motor. So I use an MAX471, which is an analog current sensor. It goes to the analog pin A1 on Arduino. And the power for the servo goes through this sensor so I can monitor the milliamps going to the servo motor. I have the power in, the power input. I use a three pin connector because I intend to use connectors from uh, ESCs in the RC world and there are always three pins. So I use three pins for that reason, but the pin number three is not used. So the VIN goes directly to the volt in inside the Arduino. I use the onboard 3.3 volt regulator to power on this level shifter that, that I decided to use in that circuit. The level shifter allows me to communicate with the OLED display using 3.3 volts. And I have my rotary encoder right here connected to the Arduino. And this is about it. It's a quite simple circuit. Here we have the final product with a two layer board. If I refresh everything, you will see that I use ground planes. And the traces are much smaller than what I'm used to do because I intend to use GLC PCB to produce this board. So let's export everything and prepare the file to send to GLC PCB. Okay, using this service, it's quite easy to get a quote. So let's try it really rapidly. I'm not giving you a course on how to do that, but essentially I exported a zip file containing the, the information that GLC PCB needs to prepare the board. And here we have the board. So I'm gonna do the next step by myself, order the board, and I'm gonna show you what I received. Before to go further, I need to tell you that I paid for this board. JLC PCB did not sponsor this video. So this is the board. Look at the quality. It is perfect. It's great. So I'll be able to continue solder the components on it and test everything. Okay, as usual, I loaded the PCB board in Fusion 360 and this is it. It looks great. I already placed a couple of components on it. Let me load other components. First, the Arduino Nano. It's gonna be right here. Gonna place the rotary encoder, the level shifter. The current sensor is gonna be here. The OLED display floating above the circuit because it's gonna fit inside the casing. The potentiometer to allow me to turn the servo motor. And finally, this is the casing that I did. And this is the bottom part. I designed it with only two screws. And here I have the power in and the servo out. So let's check the final result. Finally, I spare you a process and the soldering. This is the board with the components soldered on it. As you can see here, everything is absolutely perfect. I'm very satisfied. I made a small error on the board, but I was able to correct this error. So now let's take a look on how does it work. Okay, here are my setup. Let me place something behind to keep the angle. To see it better. Like this, good. Okay, so I have a battery, I have an ESC my servo motor right here. Let's do a test. I'm gonna connect it. Okay, here we are. So essentially, 
let's say I want to control the angle of the servo motor from that position to that position. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna click here, set the minimum value, go to the maximum, click again, choose maximum, and then the servo motor will be limited to this range. So if I want to test the servo motor in a specific condition, with let's say a servo motor pushing a rod and I want to limit the rod range, I can do it like this. Then, if I force the servo motor, check the value here, it's going to tell me that the servo motor consumes 3 milli 300 milliamps, something like that, 3400. So this gives me the consumption, the power consumption of the servo motor, which is great because if the servo motor pushes on a rod, you may need to see the, the, the amp consumed by the servo motor to see if, if it's pushing too hard or not, okay? And another good function is the sweep. If I click on sweep, it's gonna sweep between the two values that I set and I can reduce the speed of the sweep or change it to be faster. So this is about it for that project. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and see you next time. Bye.